what is up you guys i am bringing you guys this video because i found a product that i think is really really amazing and i thought it, it gave me an idea for this um topic this video is going to be a kind of buy this not that kind of thing so this uh, first item is for those of you who may have similar issues like I do with regards to fragrance. I know I've discussed being allergic to perfume. I believe I've mentioned it many times here on my channel. I get really, really bad headaches whenever I wear perfume. So I've tried, I always am willing to give scents a try. So if anyone ever makes a fragrance sound amazing, I'm always intrigued and I will always try to go and smell it and kind of see you know how i react to it enter tom ford's lost cherry this perfume smells incredible you guys there was such a huge hype around that scent and i was not expecting it anything you know revolutionary However, when I smelled it, I did think, wow, this is a really, really lovely smell. Now, that is how it sprays on. It smells amazing. Obviously, what I've learned is that the way that a perfume goes on is not the way that it lingers, right? That scent changes as the day goes by and that's usually the part that makes me sick i think i can really enjoy how a scent goes on but the dry down is really i get really bad headaches i feel like i'm eating the perfume when i'm wearing it and my body chemistry really changes perfume so i can't even put perfumes like on my skin myself you guys it's really really bad so that is kind of where I'm at with perfume but I did really love Lost Cherry and I wish that the smell that it initially has when you spray it was the smell that stayed I would love that that smells amazing it's so so beautiful so I knew that I was not gonna buy it every time I go in and they do have it I always spray it it's not on myself but like just because I love that initial smell. So I was at the mall with my son a couple of weeks ago and he bought me something and I thought, wow. <laughs> so I have found something that smells incredible like the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So let me show it to you right okay, now. Okay, you guys. So I was gifted this by my son. This is the Bath and Body Works. Uh, it's called Black Cherry Merlot. It smells so good, you guys, and it doesn't smell like perfume. It just, this is kind of what I am able to do instead of um, a perfume. I can do body splashes and not all of them, but I could do a good 30% of body splashes depending on the scent. And this one, if you guys are total uh, Tom Ford Lost Cherry fans, you guys are going to love this. This is so good, you guys. It smells divine. It's so, so good. And I really, really have not seen anyone talking about it here on YouTube. And I thought that it was definitely worth um, talking about and you guys checking out because it is really, really good. Obviously, the smell also doesn't linger, but it doesn't change. So, um, and this does not give me a headache. This does not make me want to vomit. This is not perfumed um, Because I always think it's that perfumed whatever makes something a perfume is what makes me sick um, And this is just like a, a mist without perfume. So it is just so Delicious you guys. So I am not a fragrance expert by any means but I definitely think that if you guys have been considering purchasing or you already love uh, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, you should definitely give this Black Cherry Merlot a try. It is divine, you guys. It's so, so good. So definitely buy this, not the Tom Ford, if you guys have similar issues with perfume. I think this might actually really, really work for those of us who are unable to wear fragrance the next item that i'm going to talk about is the bottega veneta 
what is it like clutch that's coming up right now everyone is you know having a Bottega frenzy and I know factually that I will not be purchasing a Bottega Veneta bag vintage or current I've never really been a huge Bottega Veneta fan to begin with I am having a moment with their shoes I'm having a huge moment with the shoes you guys and honestly if they made them shorter I would be more inclined to purchase them because they're gorgeous but where bags are concerned it's definitely a trend and I'm just not here for it I, I, I'm not I don't want to spend like a thousand dollars plus on a Bottega Veneta bag I just don't want to but there is something that I think is something that you guys should consider if you guys are really, really considering buying the Bottega Veneta item because you really love the style. So what I am going to do is insert a picture of what I'm talking about and I am talking about an item that I have been wanting for a couple of years and I've been kind of hesitant to buy it or not hesitant, I can just never find it in the color that I want and the condition that I want and the price that I want. So when all of those three meet, then I will definitely be adding that to my collection. But what I am talking about is the Chanel Wallet on Chain Half Moon. So if you guys really love the Bottega Veneta um, clutch that's really, really popular right now, there is a bag that Chanel did a couple of years ago and it is called the Half Moon. They had a walk version and they also had bigger versions and I believe that you should be able to use these as a clutch. Obviously the price point will be around the same for the Bottega Veneta and these older Chanel bags I think maybe slightly above or about the same. I, I will do research and put that over here like comparison uh comparing the prices but i know i've seen the chanel wallet on chains for about nine hundred dollars to thirteen hundred dollars and i think that that's a really really friendly price point for chanel so i definitely recommend you guys consider purchasing the chanel wallet on chain half moon version over the bottega veneta um clutch that's becoming extremely popular let me know what you guys think about that um i think it's a really i, I think i for me the way that i look at it I, I always will value chanel a lot more over a brand like bottega veneta so that's just me let me know if you disagree um in the comment section down below moving on you guys to my next item is i have always raved about my by terry um what is it the brightening CC serum this is a product that I first heard from Lydia Elise Millen um, this is a beautiful item that I really really do enjoy wearing um, and this is actually my second bottle I have only purchased this uh, on discount and I this second bottle I practically got it for free because Saks, I had Saks points and that's what I used to purchase it. So I was expecting to use this all summer again, which I have been using it all of the time. But for some reason this summer, I, I was just really hot and I just couldn't imagine having this on for some reason. And I started to use a product that I already had in my makeup case that I feel, I, I feel like it gives me the exact same look and i kind of like it better lately i don't know why i actually i do know why obviously in the summer we all get really really glowy or sweaty or whatever so putting on something that is liquid is just a recipe for disaster for me personally because i will get like sweaty and stuff like that so this item that i wanted to talk about i just repurchased because i i still have my original one but this particular one is something that i absolutely love and this is the celebration foundation illumination uh by it cosmetics i use it in the tan even though it is actually a bit darker uh, on my skin because it just looks better if I use medium for some reason I end up looking chalky and I don't like that so what I do is I, I brighten around my eyes with um, like my Maybelline concealer and then I just use this all around and then that makes me not have to wear any 
um, bronzer um, and stuff like that so I that's kind of what I've been doing and I've been loving this product so so much it is such an easy product to use and just I honestly bought this second one because like I said I still have um, about half of my pan left of the other one but this one I will be keeping in the car because I do my makeup in the car you guys so it just makes you look like you spent hours on your makeup and you really just are putting on powder and it doesn't look powdery because it's the illuminating um, the illumination version of their celebration foundation it looks so beautiful I wish that I could tell you guys how the um, the medium color looks but I have the celebration foundation in with that isn't the illumination in the medium and that one does make me look chalky so that's kind of the one that has been sitting in my car and I use in my car um, but I'm not sure how that one would look in the medium but I know that I love the tan so I don't know I can't see myself buying both maybe for winter we'll see but then I'm not sure if I want this for winter just because um, you know you get dry and stuff so I probably will move back to this during the winter so that I don't get terribly dry but this is definitely a good summer or, or if you live in a really hot weather uh, product to have and again if you have my complexion I definitely recommend that you buy the tan it goes on beautiful even if you're lighter than me uh, in the tan it serves a purpose kind of like a bronzer like an all-over bronzer but it doesn't look horrible like you're totally off especially like if you bring it down your neck then you are good to go but definitely definitely love this beautiful um, foundation from it cosmetics highly highly recommend it guys okay you guys so I did want to quickly discuss these shoes over here I am a huge lover of the Valentino rock stud uh, shoes and I always hesitate to purchase them because I always find um, very similar shoes on Amazon and usually I do like to try them out before um, I make a purchase uh, in particular with Valentino because I don't know if if I wear them and I kind of get over them um, I, I rather not spend that you know several hundred dollars on a pair of shoes but these new I, I believe these are a new style that Valentino has recently um, come out with I believe within the last year uh, I really really wanted the flats but I saw these and when it comes to flats I have a very difficult time spending money on it and I saw these on Amazon I want to say they were under $20 and these are actually really really cute they are actually um, very soft and um, almost squishy I did try on the original ones from Valentino and they are very very stiff um, and um, I, I didn't try them on um, the flats I did try on the the mules and those I probably will purchase um, from Valentino directly but these I just wanted to have them for around the pool so I would definitely say that these are a buy the this version instead of the original Valentino um, in my opinion just because flats I don't know I, I have a difficult time uh, deciding to purchase um, expensive flats like it's it, that that is I don't enjoy spending on flats you guys but um, these like I said were under $20 and they're actually a lot more comfortable I can't say for sure how long they're going to last because they really are like a flip-flop um, and they're obviously really really dirty because I've been using them every single day you guys so I do really really do think that these are worth the purchase if you guys are interested in purchasing the Valentinos um, for a fraction of the price these are definitely uh, a buy this not the Valentinos so lastly what I wanted to talk about is the Louis Vuitton luggage BB now I am completely in love with that piece you guys it is so 
so cute and I absolutely love it and I could totally change my mind at some point I think if they were to make it with black leather uh, rather than the vaquetta I might change my mind but the luggage BB is one of those really really cute pieces from Louis Vuitton uh, that they have recently released that I am completely obsessed with however the price point of that bag is just absurd I think I it's over three thousand dollars I believe even 3300 it could be 30 between 31 and 3300 dollars i will again put the exact price over here so when we're talking about canvas and that price tag i definitely would much rather purchase a chanel piece um than a louis vuitton piece that is just me i know that we are all different but if you think that spending three thousand dollars on a canvas piece is equally crazy then let me know in the comment section down below but i definitely would say that instead of purchasing the louis vuitton version that you would opt for an all leather piece from chanel uh and i will insert the images of the pieces that i'm talking about because there are a few items that chanel has that i think are comparable so and even better because i know that we all love louis vuitton but obviously you know it's kind of like hermes um chanel louis vuitton so i would opt for chanel instead of the luggage bb because of the price tag you guys and again no hate to those of you who bought it if you bought it and you're absolutely in love with it i get it it's freaking adorable but i am just taking a stand you guys i just cannot spend over three thousand dollars for a non-heritage louis vuitton piece that's all canvas so definitely it, rather than buying the luggage BB, purchase a Chanel vanity case instead. They're kind of the, the, the same look or idea. I know that this one will be like slightly more, but it's worth the money um, instead of the Louis Vuitton luggage BB. But again, if you guys think that I have completely lost my mind, I welcome you guys to leave me a message in the comment section down below. I'm really interested in hearing what you guys think about my um, stance on this particular piece. Okay, you guys, so that is it for today. Um, I am really looking forward to some of the videos that I have uh, coming up for you guys. Um, I really appreciate all of your support. The giveaway is coming to an end, so don't forget to check that out if you have not um, checked out my videos. I have two giveaways currently on my channel, so don't forget to enter them and just make sure that you have followed the directions because, it, like I said, it is coming to a close. So check out the, um, the rules on those videos and give this video a thumbs up you guys and comment down below and i really appreciate you guys watching and i will talk to you guys later bye